welcome to this short video about how to get output from Energy Plus into CSV files to use with Excel. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to this tab in Open Studio and turn on any of the out, out, uh, output variables that we want. If you're looking to do the heating and cooling load for zones, you want to turn on the Zone Air System Sensible Cooling Energy and the Zone Air System Sensible Heating Energy. So you turn them on like this and then um, you can choose whether it's detailed, time step, hourly, daily, monthly, or for the you know annual, which is a run period. So we're going to do hourly in this case. And then um, basically after you do that, you need to make sure that you run, run again. So we're going to run this simulation. And basically what we're going to need is we're going to need two separate files um, to be able to create this CSV file. So the first file um, we'll need is, is something that comes out from this output, but the second file is actually just found in the um, Energy Plus folder. So let me just, um, this is where the Energy Plus folder is in, in my um, folder um, tree, and it might be very similar to um, something that's on your computer as well. But um, basically the file we need is something called readvarseso.exe. So if we want to, we can go ahead and copy, and I'm just going to create a temporary folder here to um, do this. Oops, that's not where I wanted to go. So basically, I'm going to make a temporary folder for some post-processing. And I'll just, I actually already have this in there, but uh, I'm going to put it in this folder for now. So basically this is called read variables ESO. So the second file we'll need, and hopefully our Open Studio is done, which it is, is the actual ESO output file from this run. So let's go ahead to the tree, and why I'm going to go here is if I click the model I just ran, and I click the details, it shows where the output directory is. So I'm going to copy and paste that output directory. So I'm going to um, make a new Windows Explorer window here. I'm going to copy and paste that output directory, hit enter, and then there's actually nothing in the folder that it points to. We need to go up a folder to the run folder and go to this energy plus. So here is the ESO file that I need. So again, we need the read vars ESO and this ESO file, and we need, it's really important that we copy and paste them into the same exact folder. So we're going to go back to that temporary folder I used to the read vars ESO, and we're going to paste. So great, so now we have both of it. This is the output from our individual simulation, and this is the read bars ESO file. So these are the two things you want to do, you want to have in the file to create the CS, to create, have in the same folder to create the CSV. So let's go ahead and double click the exe file, and it starts the program basically to convert that ESO into CSV. So now we open this in Excel, and it's on my other screen, so let me drag it over. So now this is actually, um, it always, it's going to give you the outdoor air drivable temperature in Celsius, but this time step um, is actually 10 minutes, and, um, and then every hour on the hour, it's going to give you certain different variables. And let me wrap the text so it's easier to see. So this is the bathrooms, zone air sensible heating um, in joules, and then the cooling energy in joules for the bathrooms as well. And then same thing for, um, you know, this gives the zone air temperature and relative humidity as well. So, and then you can see that all this. So to get the, the total cooling or heating load, you'd have to sum all of the cooling energy columns for each zone, for each thermal zone. So that's the way you would do that. And then there's also, um, you know, you can look at one of my other videos from um, my energy accounting series to see how to convert this to an hourly data file. Um, so you can do some analysis with that. But that's how you get the output into a CSV file.